In 1902, the Great Eastern Railway was faced with Parliament passing a bill to build an underground electric railway, later known as the London Underground or the London Tubes. Electric locomotives at the time had great acceleration and could get a heavy train from 0 to 30 miles an hour in under one minute. The Great Eastern Railway, naturally not wanting to lose more passenger traffic, decided to fight the bill by showing that steam was more than capable of matching the speed and power of electric railways. The GER had an engine built entirely to have better acceleration than an electric locomotive to prove steam's efficiency. The result was an 010 tank engine that later came to be known as the Decapod. It was the first locomotive in Britain to have 10 driving wheels, and for a tank engine of the time, it was fairly large or, to put it in more simple terms, was an absolute unit. It was built with three cylinders, a wide firebox, a big boiler to develop the pressure needed for a swift acceleration, carried its water tank in between its frames, and had relatively small driving wheels for a passenger locomotive in order to maximise its tractive effort. With all these features, the engine did what it was designed to do, as it could accelerate a train weighing 335 tonnes from a standstill to 30 miles an hour in just short of 30 seconds, only just beating the speed of other other electric locomotives at the time. After demonstrating the engine to Parliament, it was agreed that the Great Eastern was able to meet the transport demands of the public and the bill for the tube train was defeated. After that, the engine struggled to be much use anywhere else on the GER as it was too heavy to safely cross many bridges in suburban areas where it was expected to go, as well as simply being somewhat inefficient to run. By 1906, it was deemed surplus to requirements and was rebuilt with a smaller boiler, smaller firebox, a tender and had eight wheels instead of ten before it was put to work as a freight locomotive hauling coal trains. It worked fine, but as the design wasn't any better than the current g 58s doing the same job, it was scrapped seven years later in 1913. Despite only working for 11 years and being rebuilt for seven of them, the Decapod was a very successful design, fulfilling its purpose in stopping the construction of a rival railway. It's a shame it never really found much use outside of foiling a bill, but it does go to show that, with a little ingenuity, there isn't a whole lot Steam can't do. Subscribe for more.